You know I what? Take this I cannot anymore. take this anymore. I am After what has been going on for the past few months, I now detest the Sweets girls, and this time permanently. Time. Because oh, I realize they've been getting away with their childish behavior. Oh, there you are, Sarah. I've been looking um, everywhere Ashley, for you. Is there something hey, wrong or what's something? wrong? Well, is something the matter with you or I anything? I just can't stand about midnight meeps. Well, Some of the meeps look at it. I never, ever in my life wanted to spit this out. But this will shock you brutally. It. It. Is. Is. What? What is it, Sarah? What's the most shocking thing that you are trying to say? I mean you can tell me anything. It's not like I'll be mad or anything. I have been hearing the dark true colors about the sweet girls, aka the cheer girls. Huh. Say it louder. I have been hearing the dark true colors, colors, colors the of the girls. midnight meeps. What? Are you joking or something, I'm Ashley? Uh, you're joking, right? Honestly, no, I am not I am joking, not joking around. around. It's true, 100%. I've been hearing, hearing the dark facts about Penelope, Victoria, Ariana, Cecile, the and the girls, seven other cheer girls. And, and this time I have no choice but to cut seriously. ties with them forever. Like seriously, Waffles and Emmy are only seven years old. And not to mention that the call Molly as a football head term when the term is getting overused. Really? What did they do that made you despise them? Well, to start off, remember when we met them back in October 2020? <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is Penelope always brags to everyone that she's the smartest person in the world and not even let anyone get a chance to win. And for Ariana, she has no purpose, I mean, no sense of purpose at all. Just like Penelope, she's also bragged to be the best person. And for Victoria, you already know this, but Victoria constantly kept calling Molly a quote-unquote football head. It used to be funny at first, but not until it got out of hand. And she started that stolen name and was the reason why every single person kept calling her that, even though Molly already improved. Now, I'm gonna be talking about the worst sweet girl character ever, and her name is Cecile Bernard. She freaking says that she's a goddamn so-called rich girl, and she wanted everyone to treat her like a damn queen and not even hate her, not to mention that she was the whole reason why Timothy was harassing her non-stop, and she brainwashed him to do so. Oh my goodness. Are. You. Really. Kidding. Me. I can't even believe the sweet girls have backstabbed us for no reason. But what about the rest of the cheer girls and their behavior? And worst of all, they all were the main reason why we were way too obsessed with them caring way too much about them. And they never wanted to leave us the hell alone for God's sakes. I know wow. right Ashley. Just also, wow. Even as I'm honestly super shocked to hear this mess. I cannot believe they betrayed us all for Smarty, no reason. Pitter, twinkle, so, blanket, my only option is to hate them forever right and doing. stay away from them forever. Case, I know. That's why I'm not friends with those Mary Sue's anymore. Starship and they must be given squad, serious karma. We need to grab as many as our friends to have a serious talk here. with them. You're right. Penelope, Ariana, Victoria, Cecile, and the rest will wish they never got away with all of this to begin with. Let's bring all our friends in one person will find the cheer dorks and bring them here. Well, so girls, nice do you agree with me that house, we're the number one famous girls in the universe? In I am because I'm always the smartest person in the world and never fail. Yeah, Penelope. Even I'm the smartest person Destiny. ever just like Travis. you and your boyfriend. Christina yeah, girl, we can do what we want. Because if people think that we're immature, that's false. We're not immature, we're cool. And everyone needs to know that I'm the richest girl and no one has any rights to hate me. I hope this never ever ends. Hey girls, hey guys, I need you to come follow me, and we want to have some with conversation friends. with you. Okay. Oh, well, okay what then. Just what for? Me. Just come follow me. Huh? Um, guys? guys.
this? What's going on? Why are you so angry at us? Well, the reason why we are angry at you, it's because actually and Dylan told to the dark truth of the Midnight Mets crew. told us the dark story about you and your two girls. What? What do you mean our dark truth? What did, what did we even do? Don't play them on us, Diego. We have already told them about hearing us. We already know we are so all turning about against them. We are not friends us. anymore. And after what we heard, yeah. we are so turning we're against you and we are not I friends anymore. Yeah. You have been when Elsa was walking to me, ago. I told her and how much bull crap you have been doing since two years ago. And when she told me all about your immature behavior, I was so shocked that I had to detest you permanently. Yeah, so that's why, that's I, came why I came to you just so me and my friends could confront, confront you and tell you the okay. truth, pretty much, off, about you. Like okay, said, to start you off, like Sarah said, you Penelope are just nothing but a selfish person who always wants to be like a so-called smart person and not even let other people win. Just because you're the leader of your group doesn't mean that you're perfect. No one is. We all mess Larry, up, you know. Cecilia, and speaking and of Sam smart person, Mari and Anna also do the exact same thing with Penelope and does, and you're one of the others who two want two to always win. In the past. And we heard Jennifer from multiple people that you have absolutely no purpose and whatsoever. And, and Victoria, and Rachel I know this is yes. over with, but when you started the football head turn, and when you started calling Molly a football head, that turn was way out of control, and that everyone agreed to hop into the trend. But thank God this all ended on 2022 of this year. Even though Molly like, improved herself, but seriously, yeah. Victoria, you should be blamed for this. And to start the worst part, Sabo, do you really think that you're both on both richest girls in life, as well as Crystal? Wow, that is the stupidest thing I've heard. Not to mention that you wanted everyone to consider you as a mother freaking queen in this world. It's like you wanted all of us to praise you like one. And Cecile, I don't know if you realize this, but did you know that you were the reason why Timothy kept on harassing you because you wouldn't leave him alone? You could have called the police on him. But instead, you kept no on beefing around team. about him, there which is why he was harassing you 24-7, even though he's no longer Before doing it again. And to explain parties, Melody, birthdays, Maria, Sakura, Yua, Ekika, Liana, and Crystal, no they are just as bad as you are. And, if you think and we should have known the birthday, fact that Melody sorry, actually is using autism as an excuse all. and cries like a baby See? over everything. Sakura, you and Ekika are so annoying to us. Just like Liana and Maria. And Cecile, your old friend Crystal is acting just like you. You basically treat yourselves like gods and this is so freaking out of balance. I'm glad we're no longer trusting you, considering BTW that you were why we were obsessed with you non-stop and never wanted to hate you. There will be very very serious consequences and karma that we are giving you. You will be banned from our dance parties, birthdays, holidays and more parties forever. We will also keep you away from our group. Everyone will turn against you no matter what, and you will lose all your friends. And if you think we are giving you any birthday wishes, I'm sorry, but that will not happen. And we will replace you with the Tyler crew and the Q-Troll squad also known as the European girls. Oh, and did we forget that we also left the Fantastic Forces also known as the Cheer Forces because they're pieces of trash such as you. Daisy, See Penelope, Diego, Victoria, Nanai, Ariana, and, Jennifer, and Cecile, we are not only cutting, not ties, only with cutting you, ties with you, we are also we cutting, are also ties, with cutting ties with Sakura, Sarah, you, Lily, Ikika, Larry, Liana, William, Maria, Cecilia, and Crystal, Sam, and same goes Brianna, with the Fantastic Rosemary, Forces, Annabelle, and we will have Sydney, all the fun Angela, without you and replace Valerie, you with the Cultural Rosaria, Squad Rachel, and the Tyler Crew. Anna, Leslie, Camilla, Stella, Min, and maybe, and we will have all the fun with you. I agree with Daisy. You know that I am the best girls, and you can't just unfriend us.
you have, you have got to be freaking kidding us. You have got to be freaking kidding us right now. You are complete pieces of shit that don't give us a shit about us anymore. Since you pissed us off, how about you can fall off in between the stairs and go kill yourself because you are a piece of shit with no actual life, you motherfucking cunt. Just the wow, meeps are the so four annoying. sweet girls are so annoying. And I can't believe they had to send Naomi a serious threat. Yeah, yeah. dude. Those Mary Sues are so hard to, to our friends, literally. I guess time. trusting and supporting these girls were a bad idea and a waste of time. Hey, hey are you all nuts? nuts? What, what in the world, world did you do to our friends Daisy, Diego, Naomi, and, and, and Jennifer, and Cesar? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like what the hell? Like what the hell? Is wrong with you? Come why? in the world with you. Hate all friends. Hate our friends. You know they are proven you know innocent. They are proven innocent. No. More like they are proven guilty. Complain all you dorks want, but they, even the rest of you, are no longer friends for all. Oh my God! You are all such jackasses. You are such jackasses. I thought you were friends, and now this is how you treat us. This is how you treat us. Yeah. I don't even know why you had to betray yeah, us for no damn reason. I don't reason even know why you have to betray us for, like for no damn reason at all. And then this We've happens. been friends for like over a year and a half, and then this happened. Oh, well, guess what? Looks like all you all are raging like entitled oh, parents just like because of our betrayal. Like How many we will not get over? How many Jennifer is our good friend? So Either you bring back our friendship or else. Either you bring back our friendship or else. Oh no, not you, Daisy. I was one of your friends since February 2021. And if you want to turn against me, then fine, I'll take it. But let us remind you, betrayers need serious karma, especially since we've been friends a year and a half ago. Nice try, but you're the ones that'll get karma. I mean, I've got superpowers, and you can't do anything to destroy it. Well, that's what. You well, think. That's what you think. Since there are seven of us, of us. it'll it help seven, seven times as much as the ability to defeat you. So, so why, why don't, don't we beat you up for an example? Them. Come on, girls, let's show her what we got. What? No way. I don't believe it. How did you do that? Her logic saved me. You can't beat me because I've activated my protection force field so you can't stop me. Now then, you're finished for good, so I'll be one to kick you away for defending the torture dorks. Oh crap. This is the end. I don't like the sound of this. Congratulations, you take a all of it. You thought you would lose the battle in your protection to feed his memory. To a sector attack, you would kick up. Liana, Maria, and Crystal, by using your protection force field to avoid being attacked. Yeah, Daisy. We're so proud of you for defeating our former friends, just like Naomi got rid of Penelope, Victoria, Ariana, and Cecile the Karens. Now we don't have to be on their side anymore. Well, no problem. I knew I could defeat them with my superpower. I'm glad we don't have to deal with the cheer dorks anymore. I agree. Instead, we can just replace them with the cultural squid and the Titan crew. That's right. Sissy would also be a good replacement for our friendship. Yeah. And besides, who even needs so-called yeah. richest girls anyways? Those people are literally greedy constantly. And we regret meeting them to where it was a complete mess, but we finally won the battle against them. I know, right? Oh, and by the way, I wonder how their boyfriends will react to this. I bet they'll throw huge tantrums and rage at us for defeating their girlfriends.
Oh my god. Are you freaking serious? Why in the actual universe were you backstabbing our girlfriends like that? You know they did nothing wrong. Yeah. Like bruh, is this how you treat your own friends? This is absolute bless. And just keep in mind moron creeps, sooner or later, we are going to make you regret it, and we definitely mean it, no cap. Yeah, you heard us. Don't even think about your good side. And Cecile is not a bad person, she's my royal princess, and you can't betray her and our girlfriends. Maybe I should just make a cringe videos of the completion of the Go Animate. I don't know how. <laughs>